So, alright guys, something weird happened today on my bus. So, I do ride the bus home after school. And this girl across the aisle from me, not sitting in the same seat next to me, but, you know, across the aisle. She, uh, she takes the hand towel that she has and she makes a bunny rabbit out of it with a rubber band. You know, she, you tie the ears back, you know, and all that. So when she ties the ears back and she gets done with it, she starts asking us what it looks like. And I was like, oh yeah, man, it looks like a butt crack. But, you know, that's just me. I don't know what other people are thinking. But, um, after that, she holds it in the middle of the aisle and the bus driver says, what is that? Like, very, you know, she's a, uh, I want to put it as a, uh, a soulful black lady. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna put it like that. She's not big or anything, she's like normal size. But she says, What is that? And then she goes, It's a bunny. And she goes, What type of thing is that? And she goes, It's a it's a towel. You know, <laughs> that that's exactly what it was. It's a towel. So, you know, the bus driver he says, Alright, put it up. And then she backtracks a little bit more and says, What is that? So we were all extremely, extremely confused about what is going on. So she says that we all explain it and we say, you know, it's a, uh, it's a bunny rabbit. Ah! I don't ever snipe that good. You know, she puts it up, you know, as, as the, as the bus driver said. So when she puts it up though, the bus driver continues and she just keeps on, you know, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, you know, like. And we're all laughing, going, you know, what is she talking about? She's crazy lady. Extremely crazy lady. So then my friend over here, this, she, like, starts, like, crying and also laughing at the exact same time. Like, I don't know. I've never had that feeling. I've never cried and laughed at the same time. Just, I don't know how that happens. And then the bus driver just keeps on going, huh, you want to laugh and you want to you wanna cry? You should be crying, blah, 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 whatever she was saying. She says, all right, guys, we're going back to school. And everybody was like, what is she serious? Are we going back to school for nothing? There's, there was absolutely no reason to go back to school. One, it would waste her time. Two, it would waste our time. I mean, it's a lose-lose situation. So she drives us all the way back to school while recording us on her phone. She's not even paying attention to the road. So we're all very mad at her. All like, everybody's all cussing and getting angry. And... But I was, me and this girl next to me were laughing just so hard. It was so funny. So after that, the cop says, shut up, shut up, all right, and like, you know, in a super duper deep voice in this five foot two body. So, you know, at five foot two, I did not think that was pretty intimidating. So then that kid gets pulled up the bus. He just says, you know, come with me. And he got to walk home. Then the bus driver with, tells the AP after the cop took the other kid off and says, this girl's, you know, she's freaking out. She was about to have like a nervous breakdown on me. I'm not going to tolerate that on my bus. And I was just like, are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> What is going on? Our bus driver is crazy. And she started, uh, like, imitating her about what she was, I guess, doing. But she wasn't really doing it. So she, like, starts getting all, like, the fake nervous breakdowns she's pretending to have. And it was, uh, it was, it was funny. Because she was, like, screaming, like, ah! And it was this. <laughs> it was way. Me and this girl next to are having a fit, laughing fit out of it cop comes back on and grabs the girl and takes her off but you know she's not gonna get in trouble it was just a towel like who cares so then you know she gets taken off the bus driver just says I'm not gonna have that on my bus period you know how the teachers and people like to add that at the end like it makes a difference so yeah we get back on the bus and uh, so we leave you know we go back home see when we go through the neighborhood to get to where they drop us off you know she goes to the main road and then she goes to make a right Cause it's like a little neighborhood off to the right, away from everybody else, away from everybody else's neighborhood. If that makes any sense. And uh, she drops like four kids off, and then the rest of the bus drops off at one spot. Easiest job in the world. Before though, when the girl got caught with the with the the rabbit, it was after those kids got dropped off. So we're all over here being optimistic, saying, "Oh yeah, we get to skip that spot. I mean, you know, we get to skip that stop." But no, she goes to that road and she makes a right and goes over there. And we're all like, are you kidding me? This bus driver is literally the stupidest person I've ever met. And it is, it's amazing. I thought it was phenomenal how, and ridiculous how stupid she is. That might sound really, really bad. <laughs> so we get over there and she opens up the door and says, okay. And then 
I'm like the only one who has like the real balls to speak up. So I was just like, hey, uh, yeah, you let all them off earlier. And she goes, I know what I'm doing. And I was like, um, you sure? And she goes, it's, it's school policy. It's district policy that I have to go through all the stops when leaving the school. But dang, lady, you're, there's no reason. You're wasting your time. You're wasting our time. Does not matter. So then she turns around, you know, she takes us back t to our spot, and then I walk home. So, you know, it's all in all, like, a pretty crappy experience. You know, pretty crappy. It, but it was, it was, I had, I laughed so many times. It was very, very funny. But Alright, guys, that's been it. Maybe to drop a like if you enjoyed, and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. And, uh, alright, stay devious.